State television company Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Zoom meeting dedicated to the National Constitution Day of Western Armenia. Armena Gablahanan gave an interview to one of media sufficient in Armenia. We will return again to celebrate the three-year anniversary, Gulgin American. Russian border guards will withdraw from Davos, Sunik, Vyot, Zor, Gelarkonik, Arad regions. Eastern Armenia cancels CSTO financing. European Bank, more than 200 million euros loan will provide to Eastern Armenia. Cultural Genocide Zoom meeting dedicated to the National Constitution Day of Western Armenia. On May 9, a Zoom meeting dedicated to the National Constitution Day of Western Armenia took place. During the Zoom meeting, the first president of Western Armenia, Armena Gablahamian, stated that the National Constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia consists of three main common parts. 1. The 15 founding texts of the Republic of Western Armenia, which are unchanged. The history and recognition of the Republic of Western Armenia, laws, decisions and declaration, which are the basis for the Constitution. The second, the 161 articles of the national constitution will 14 chapters will may be subject to adaptation because they are based on the principle of reality following the rule of real and objective application the third based on the charter of the united nations and the declaration on the rights of indigenous people taking into account international law the president of western armenia miss lydia markosian mentioned in her speech that it is difficult to celebrate may 9 because she is occupied now in her speech lydia markosian emphasized that we know how to liberate and the proof of that was the liberation of Artsakh. Nelly Hayotinian, the chairperson of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, made a speech and emphasized the importance of the day. The president of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armena Kabrahamian, gave an interview to journalist Nayane Agajanyan. The president spoke about the National Constitution of Western Armenia, the liberation of Artsakh, post war works, and the National Council of Western Armenia. Mr. Armena Kabrahamian, while speaking about his extensive works, noted that Armena Kabrahamian has been an instructor for decades. He devoted all his time to the young to protest and survive, and then, when they, he went from training to real practice, be it military, strategic, legal, or philosophical, the art of preserving one's people has become a vital priority. The war has never really stopped. It is uh, right here in front of us, and even if we pretended not to see it, it knows how to call us and to order, said Armena Gabrahim. And then Mr. President continued the mission of applying his knowledge to the real struggle for existence. We will return again to celebrate the three victories, Gurgen Melikian said. We will return again to celebrate our victories, and he assured that that there is near. Former dean of uh, Yerevan State University Faculty of Oriental Studies, Professor Gurgen Melikian mentioned this in his speech at the real organized on the Republic Square on May 9. Our fate has been taken away from us. For centuries, our church has stood up to our people in the absence of statehood. Today, the church has taken over the mission again. They have taken away our spirituality and our dignity. I assure you that uh, we will be there and uh, one day it will come. We are obliged to stand in support of the Armenian power and this is our title. We enlisted in the Armenian cause. The truth came from the borders of the country to their capital and woke up all Armenians. Russian border guards will withdraw from Davos, Sunik, Vyot, Zor, Gehar, Kunik, Arad regions. According to the agreement reached during and after the 44-day war, the Russian border guard and military points located in Davos, Sunik, Vyot, Zor, Gehar, Kunik, Arad region will stop their deployment and leave those points. The decision to stop the activities of the Russian border guard at the Vart Nuts airport was also approved at the highest level. Eastern Armenia cancels funding CSTO. Eastern Armenia stops financing activities with the CSTO. Armenian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Ani Badalian told reporters that Eastern Armenia will abstain from CSTO 2024 on the budget of the Collective Security Council in 2023, joining the decision of November 23 and participating in the financing of organizations' activities provided for by it. Along with that, according to the representative of the diplomatic department, Eastern Army does not object to the organization approval of the 2024 budget in the limited format. To build the customs and logistics centers in Sunik, the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development will provide Eastern Armenia with 12 million euros, of which 2 million are grants and 10 million are loans. We learn about this from the e-government website. The center will be built on 77 hectares of land adjacent to north-south. It's stated in the justification of the decision. 
The destruction of the monument of the period of independence of Artsakh, the memorial symbolizing the victory, the Hajj cars and the memorials of heroes has a clear place in Baku's anti-Armenian policy. This policy became active after the 2020 war, following which many monuments have already been destroyed. This uh, mechanism of destruction of heritage is actively used especially for the purpose of erasing the landmarks of the victorious memory of the liberation of Shushi, demoralizing the Armenian people and subjecting them to psychological trauma. Shushi was liberated on the morning of May 8, 9, 1992. Apart from the important military signification, the victory had to educate the generations in the spirit of patriotism, which became possible through this cultural heritage. The cultural landscape of Artsakh was full of monuments documenting the liberation of Shushi and glorifying it. The tank monument was one of them. The very first car that entered the liberated fortress city on May 8, 1992. The tank was the symbol of the liberation struggle of Artsakh, the symbol of victory, the symbolic monument of the liberation of Shushi, where its respect was paid to the memory of the Madrid heroes in the liberation struggle of Shushi. It was also a sacred place for many, a place to remember and prepare to aid the hero's feet. But in September 2023, it became clear that Baku dismantled and then destroyed the tank installed on the road from Tepanagar to Shushi, destroying the heritage and endangering the possibility of passing on the memory of the victory to the generations. After the liberation of Shushi, the first place where the soldiers of the victorious Armenian army went was the St. Armin Naprikish Ghazanchetso Church of Shushi, where the Holy Liturgy was offered. In this sense, Hazan Chenchos was an important symbol of the victorious end of the liberation of Shushi because many people wanted to place the victory flag on the head of Hazan Chenchos and it was not by the chance that on October 8, 2020, the first pillow by Baku was directed at the church itself with gross violations of the Hague and Geneva Convention as well as international humanitarian laws. It was targeted twice, causing significant damage to the dome external and internal parts of the structure. This was all for today. Goodbye.